What's up fans of drive Through Toys, I'm Mitch Santona and today we're taking a look at Walt Disney's Treasure Planet McDonald's Happy Meal toy set from 2002. Alright, first up in the set we have Jim Hawkins. Jim Hawkins, this whole little, this whole bag came with all kinds of goodies. You got an action figure that's fully posable, you got a fully posable sail on a beautifully decked out surfboard here, it's even got some exhaust down at the bottom this thing moves around the action figure himself is posable I'll take him off in a second and then this little thing here has got a nice bright LED red light up gimmick so this is an excellent uh, little package for a Happy Meal toy look these guys got articulation he moves his head around he can move with the waist plug him back in if you don't like that he'll stand up on his own so yeah man a lot of stuff in these bags back in 2002 all kinds of fun stuff Next up we have Ben, and Ben is this little robot guy that's got glow-in-the-dark eyeballs. So if you turn the lights off, he will glow, the eyes will at least, and he comes with a little stand. The stand I'll show you in a second. The stand's got a couple different purposes. At the end, it will combine with the other pieces. But Ben has all kinds of movement and articulation here. Very, very fun, high-quality Happy Meal sets for back now, then. Now, if you take this little stand and flip it around, you get yourself a working compass a working compass check that out see if i can get it to well without looking down on it well yep it's pointing north next up is arrow and arrow is an awesome awesome figure this guy is nice the solid plastic really really heavy duty for back then man they really had some nice quality on these happy meal toys he's solid plastic his arms move around his head moves around a little bit. He came with a stand, which has a couple different purposes, and he also came with a hook. And if you do this, <laughs> the hook retracts. Now, not only is this a base for the figure, but it's also got a couple different purposes. If you slide this out, you get yourself a handy dandy magnifying glass. You can see that working, works really well. But again, this is part of that puzzle, and at the end, we're gonna form ourselves a nice golden treasure planet. Next up we have John Silver, and this is another one of those heavy duty plastic action figures. They're really, really high quality for Happy Meal toys. Now his head doesn't really move around, but his arms do, and his little tiny little feet do too. You can spin these guys around, and this arm, the robotic arm, this thing goes all over the place. So he's got some movement up at the shoulder, he's got some movement on his elbow, and he looks really impressive. He also comes with a beautiful looking treasure chest which is going to be part of that puzzle at the end. And if you open the chest, you get yourself a removable tattoo. That comes out of there, and you can put a little water on your skin, and you can tattoo yourself. It should come right off. Close the chest up. Let's move along. Next up, we have Scroop. And Scroop is loaded with stuff to do. He comes with this, and I'll show this off in a, in a second here. Uh, but the action figure itself is really cool. It doesn't, it does not scream Happy Meal toy at all. This is something you could probably buy at a store. He's got articulation in all of his legs, and he's got a bunch of them. These things spin around all over the place. His waist spins all over the place. His head spins all over the place. He's even got a little springy gimmick. This little button on the back, if you push it, gets you with the pincers. Okay, according to the instructions here, not only does this thing make some noise, but you somehow can attach this to a doorknob. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Uh, it doesn't look like it really would. There's a couple little rubbery pieces right here, so it may be able to grip on somehow, but uh, it's like a little doorknob, doorbell, time bomb, I don't know, beepy thing. All right, number seven is Dr. Doppler, and Dr. Doppler is very cool looking. He's got like a rubbery coat on. You can move his arms and legs a bit. You can move his head around. Uh, his, his legs, I should say, don't really move, but he's got like this rubbery coat that has a pocket in it. The pocket has a map. It's a rolled up paper map. And you'll see his stand. He's supposed to stand in there. He, he kind of doesn't. Uh, his stand has got this little viewing glass thing on there. Well, if you open up the map, like so, and you're real careful with it, uh, it will reveal, you see how there's like a hidden something going on here? Well, if you look through it with the, if you look through it with the red, then it reve <laughs> it reveals a, let's see, what is this? <laughs> I can't tell you what it reveals. You gotta buy the set yourself and find out. 
Number five, we have Morph. And Morph is a very animated looking rubbery toy here. And if you wanted, you could probably fill him up with some water and use it like a water squirter. There's a little hole in the bottom there. Uh, but he's just a little rubbery toy, and he sits on this pedestal. Again, this is a puzzle piece, and this puzzle piece in particular has a little pull-out, smaller version of him that pulls out and says hello to you. Here is Captain Amelia. This is the last piece, and the last puzzle piece as well. Now, Captain Amelia has some head movement. She can move her arms and her legs. Uh, she has a stand. Again, that's a puzzle piece, and it's got a dual function again. Uh, the boots, they can kick, she can kick you, and she comes with a little rubbery kind of cape here. This does not come off, it goes, it just completely envelops her head, but uh, it can kind of move around and flow behind her. Uh, she is going to probably need the stand to stand up because her feet are really, really tiny. But this thing, if you can see through it here, uh, if you give this thing a spin, it changes pictures. So you're looking at a couple of different pictures, you can spin it forth and back, and that's kind of fun. Extra little bonus feature. Let's build the treasure planet. So there is the treasure planet all built up. This thing is a nice hunk of plastic. Very, very cool set to collect the whole thing. And all the gimmicks still work. You can still change the picture here. The little sound gimmick will work. And now, because you got that light incorporated in that, it actually lights up that picture from underneath and on the inside. So that is really, really awesome. This is a fantastic set to put together. And it is kind of hard to find a complete one. But let's get a group shot next to the planet and close this video out. It's going to wrap it up for me, folks. I'm Mitch Santona. Thank you very much for tuning in to Drive Through Toys. If you could subscribe, that would be fantastic. And hey, if you're into other Disney things, I've got a Disney channel too in the Mitch Santona Network. Come subscribe to all my stuff and I would greatly appreciate it. You guys would be awesome. Take care. I'll see you later. And I'll be back soon with some more goodies.